Hey guys, Mordecai Nut here, and today we're talking about coolant temperature sensors. What is a coolant temperature sensor? What's its job? And, um, and where it's located? And there's a difference between the coolant temperature sensor and a fan switch, a radiator fan switch. On older cars, they would have two. Okay, but the newer com computerized cars, usually everything goes through the um, coolant temperature sensor. Now, coolant temperature sensor, let me show you on this BMW. It's always going to be located, like it's right here. I'll put the light on. It's right here. It's always going to be located near the cylinder head, in the cylinder, um, in the vicinity of where the coolant runs through. It's going to be in there, and I'll show you what the coolant temperature sensor looks like. This is a Subaru, all right? Coolant runs through here, and it's in here, and it has a little, right here, this goes, this is in the water. It's, all, it's usually a two-prong. Sometimes there could be more, depending on the vehicle. And the coolant temperature sensor's job is very important. It controls, it lets the end, the computer know what temperature the car is, how much ignition time to put, how much fuel to put. So it's very critical in, in running properly, a properly running engine to have a, a good running coolant temperature sensor, good working coolant temperature sensor, I'm sorry. So... Um, if you have codes for the coolant temperature sensor, let's say like a code of P0118, coolant temperature sensor malfunction, all right, engine could be running rough, it could be running rough for a lot of reasons, the coolant temperature sensor could be inaccurate, and what it's doing is dumping more fuel when it's not supposed to, so the computer doesn't know, it's confused, engine can have misfires because of that, um, the newer cars, the, the, Engine coolant temperature sensor does control the fan. Like in this BMW, it's a little bit different than other cars. It's more high-end, so it's more involved with the electronics. But um, you don't want to... Usually, the coolant temperature sensor for the fan, it's called a fan switch, only has one terminal. Let me show you again. Let me take it out. See, this one has two. It'll usually only have one, because a fan switch is basically, as soon as it has power or ground, whichever way the computer wants to do it, it grounds it. And the fan comes on and goes off. But the newer cars, the fans go on really slow. They can go on any time, any kind of speed. So it's a little bit different. All right? And the fan switch would be somewhere in the radiator itself. All right? To make the fans go on. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about the coolant temperature sensor. All right? So... And that's responsible, like I said, for a lot of things. So among other sensors, that's a very important sensor. All right, so like I, I told you before, the, that coolant temperature sensor can give you all kinds of problems. And sometimes it won't even get a code for that. So you have to test it individually, but you know, that's another video. So I just wanted to let you know what it is and where it's located. A couple of people asked me, so I figured I'd make the video for them. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions, leave them below. I try to answer all my questions, get you guys back on the road. And if you learned something, I appreciate, appreciate a donation to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.